Jones. I am the theater teacher here at Hillcrest and also the director of this show. And uh, I'm also in this show, <laughs> uh, out of necessity. But anyway, uh, it's a lot of fun and having a lot of fun with these kids. A few things I want to share with you before we start. First of all, I would like to share with you the fact that we are doing something for the first time since I have been at Hillcrest. We are uh, collaborating with another of the fine arts departments here at Hillcrest. We're collaborating with the band and down here in the orchestra. Ben Holden. We have this wonderful group of high school students as our orchestra. So it is just awesome to have a live band and for it to be done by our students here at Hillcrest. And I cannot thank our band director, Megan Miller, enough. She has done a fantastic job. Y'all give her. Uh, another great thing about this particular production is that uh, we have a lot of really inexperienced kids on this stage. Very few of them have been in shows, period, or have had major roles at all. So it's, it's, it's a first for just about everybody up here in some capacity. And they have worked so hard and have come so far, and I'm so very proud of them and what they have accomplished, and you're going to see it here today. Also, they're having to fight the rain today, and we have to make crosses behind outside in the rain, so that's put, putting a whole issue. So if you see people come out on the stage drenching wet, you'll know why, okay? <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, we have concessions outside uh, for you during our intermission. We will have a 15-minute intermission for you to enjoy those. Um, please uh, uh, turn off your phones, please no flash photography, and please, most of all, enjoy Band Geeks! <laughs> Guys, me 
need to get started. Elliot, you're doing great. Where's Stu? Looking for an inhaler. And his dignity. Excuse me, comrade. Is that are you wanting trumpet section? Another exchange student? I am premium trumpet player in National Youth Orchestra. She's serious. As Linens too. <laughs> Not a gift but a curse. Like a leper but worse. With a grim prognosis that'll never improve. When you're a bad geek, the cheerleaders think you're just a little too intense for the crew. When you wait in the stands with the flute in your hand to play the five songs till your face turns blue. No use fighting crap, you're a banging. I wish just once that we could play to thunder us the boss. I wish that I could disappear. I wish I had fewer flaws. I want to get past first base. I want to not get hit every day. I wish for once they saw more than a freak out on display. Football. I've waited for this year. Senior All Star Jake, then one little mistake, then bam, it's the end of your high school career. They said that I had promised maybe a scholarship that I could win. Okay, I admit I lashed out a bit. Now I can never play football again. I can't believe they're throwing me in with the marching band. Whatever, I just gotta pass. I'm gonna hit every minute I spend in the clouds with those bangies, bangies. They're socially awkward. Are you ready to get started? It's my new composition. I've been working on it all summer. Oh, oh yeah, I, I skimmed Great. it, but I still have to. I still have some work to do, but is it okay to work with the band today? Uh, yeah, sure. Yes. Has anybody seen my pink baton bag anywhere? Uh, 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 uh. Ugh, these things are so noisy. Oh, hi, Elliot. Um, I haven't seen it anywhere. Maybe you should check the field house? Thanks. It has, like, my whole life in it. <laughs> Elliot. Your brother is Chip Goodman, the weather guy. Right. Yeah, he's famous now in Cleveland. Cool. Would you mind passing along my resume? Oh, yeah. I'm a connector. I like connecting people. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
always act like such an idiot in front of her. You do kind of get that open mouth drooly drool thing, but it's cute. This is the drill chart. You're supposed to stand here next to me. And what are little dots? These are called field coordinates. Why must you talk so loud? So you can understand my English. I am speaking English since Perestroika before. Okay, senorita. I just don't want the sound coming out of that horn to sound like mine. Got it? You should be so lucky. So lucky. Bill? Bill. Oh, Gail, I was just about to run a memo down Meet here. Jake Fowler. This is the student I was telling you about from Waterloo. Oh, right, the drummer. Joyce, do you have his file? All right, nice to meet you. Anyway, they've decided not to press charges, and he's yours for the semester. Charges? There was a little skirmish, something about a kidney. It's all hyperbole. What? Exaggeration. Yes. Yes. Uh, uh, right, what I'd like to discuss is further. So you're in business. Bill, why don't you stop by my office tomorrow morning? Uh, Stuart, <laughs> remember to hydrate. It is so hot out there, and you forgot your inhaler this morning. Mom. Okay, we're not related. I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, bring it in. Uh, looks like we have ourselves a drummer. <laughs> Banton Hut Pride. Yes, it looks like uh, Jake was on the football team at his old school. Wait a minute. 49, the running back from Waterloo? Yeah, man. Killer! What are you doing here? Suffering. We're just thrilled to have a new member of the band. It's kind of challenging having a percussion section without a drum. Or rhythm. Or dynamic. Or rhythm. Or rhythm. Or dynamics. Or any semblance of talent. <laughs> Kyle, grab him a snare. Uh, the principal said I didn't really have to do anything. Mr. Fowler, if you're going to pass, you're going to play. Whatever. Y'all barely play anyway. Uh, that's not true. Oh, yeah? I played against you three years in a row, and the only thing worse than your offense is your bands. So, like, how would you write us a comparison to, like, the snack bar? Alvin. Well, things are going to change around here. Elliot is your captain, which means... I know what it means. I just need the two of you to work together. Actually, Mr. Hornsby, I've already passed out Fly to the tuba. Fly to the what? The tuba? Oh, right. All right, guys, everyone ready? Here's how this is going to go. I'm going to leave, take a position at my grandmother's house in front of the TV. Uh, what do you mean? What else is to tell Mr. Hornsby? Tell him I'm the friggin' music man. Who gives no, a lot I won't do it. Tell him I got sick then. I, I won't lie for you. I think you will. I think I You're do. sweating, Tuba. It's a glam problem. Now would you please suit up? Hey, do you need some help with that? They're kind of like shoulder pads. I mean, like, football shoulder pads, not Joan Crawford shoulder pads. Uh, I've got it. Are you sure, Tuba? Anyways, let's start with the basics. Quarter notes. Left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four. Left, right, left, right. One, two, three, four. The drummer is the heartbeat of the beavers. So what you're holding in your hand, there is a heart. Figuratively speaking. No speeding up or slowing. You gotta keep that heartbeat going. Or the whole entire band will fall apart. My read tastes like cheese. You've got to keep the beat. No matter what you do, one, two, three, repeat. Don't let it get away from you. This ladybug is cool. Come check out my dad's swimming pool. Just play what's written on the sheet. I'm glad the dark world is complete. Just keep the beat. Wow, you really run a tight ship here, Captain. Actually, we have a standard that we live by, like the Pledge of Allegiance. Or the Jedi Codes. <laughs> so who would that make you? Jabba the Hutt? No, Jabba isn't a Jedi. He's a space gangster. <laughs> Anyways, the code please. The beavers march together. Each member big and small. It's all for one and one for all. Let's continue. And the beavers play together from beginning to the end. We listen to each other and we Mark play. time, hut. Each member for a common goal. Stop blocking me during my cell 
solo. No part is greater than the whole. I am also playing here. Nobody marches alone. Nobody marches alone. Nobody marches alone. Just keep the beats. Dude, I told you I don't play. Keep the beats. Your music's awful anyway. Well, you're one to talk. You're just a washed up shock. What'd you say? Nothing. He didn't say anything. I didn't hear anything. Stay at our pace. You better stay out of my face. Play the pattern and repeat. Repeat. Just keep the beat. And you guys think I'm moody? <laughs> Ellie, what's going on here? Where'd Jake go? I think he, uh, he wasn't feeling well. All right, well, you just let me know if there's any problem. Uh, why would there be any problem? I've got everything under control. Our new drummer? Oh, me. Don't know what to do with someone. They just throw them in here with us. That guy couldn't keep time for metronome was taped to his forehead. All those years of football have clearly damaged his prefrontal cortex. Don't they have meds for that? Please. <laughs> How's he not through high school? Hey guys, how's practice today? I know it's a little rough with our new uh, percussion. But trust me, there's some shaping. Elliot, are you wearing new cologne? What? No. Oh, come on. I just smelled you now. That smelled like vanilla, bergamot, Dolce and Gabbana? No, don't touch it. Nicole, does that think I look like Nicole? Nicole? You are so busted. You really think a 12 year old would actually go out with you? That would destroy the whole natural order of things. Hello, Ellie, she said. I think she finally noticed me. It's only been 10 years. Those are the first words she said since we were in sophomore chemistry. When she said, pass the pipette, please. Thanks. <laughs> but I think she noticed that I'm not the same, and this time she even used my name. Well, stranger things have happened. Yeah, Millie Vanilli won a Grammy. <laughs> Bright white tennis shoes, a smile that cures any blues. She makes your flag unfurl. But do you really have a prayer? You're just a tuba player. And she's a twirler girl. She's a twirler girl. Wait, is she like engaged to that jerk from the swim team? No, he dumped her in the Chick-fil-A parking lot. Brutal. Yeah. Well, made for best friend putting a good word on my behalf. Nicole has guys who are tall, who act real macho and in command. That's true, but still after all, I'm captain of the school marching band. I mean, I think she likes athletes, too. But I've been working out on the elliptical. My weight is down, can't you see? And now I'm thinking that the feelings are reciprocal by the way that she looks at me. 15 pounds lighter, maybe I could invite her out. First chocolate strawberry swirl. She could drink it while I eat a salad with the side of pita. She'll be your twirler girl. She'd be my twirler girl. There's no way you gotta shop with a home fight. You guys just jealous. She's totally into me. Yeah, right. And Sue's real waltzes. <laughs> and Nicole is prettier than my brother's girlfriend, the Miss Cuyahoga Falls winner. And my whole family would look at me differently if I brought her home to have dinner. My dad would put down his golf magazine, and my mom would stop watching TV. And they'd see that I was someone, for once I'd be someone, not just my weatherman brother, but me. Then she'd come up to my room and we'd sit on the floor Reading rare back issues of the Fantastic Four Then we'd watch all three Star Wars movies in succession And I'd crack her up with my Chewbacca impression <laughs> Then we'll play two-player on my Nintendo system And I'll play my compositions, how could she resist them? Secretly she'll say I love all that stuff 
like me, a musical lover and a sci-fi buff. And finally she'll see that I'm good enough. I'll be good enough. And we'll drive to school in my brother Chevy Malibu, the former swine and the pearl. And all the jocks will turn around and get a better view of me and my twirler. Finally I'll walk the halls without any cat calls. No, you'll have no insults to hurl. I can't wait to see the way that they look at me, me and my twirler girl. Hornsby, thank you for meeting me so early. Can I get you a cup of coffee? Oh, not for me, thanks. Joyce, would you be a doll and run down to the teacher's room and get me a fresh cup? Are you sure you don't want it, Mr. Hornsby? I make it light and sweet. Oh, uh, no thank you, Janet. <laughs> Joyce. Uh, Joyce, sorry. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. I've already had four cups. <laughs> Isn't that just crazy? I have a four-cup coffee maker at home and no one to join me, so <laughs> coffee for one. <laughs> yet I just keep drinking. You should join me. Are you sure you don't want to join me? Well, my doctor has me cutting back acid reflux. <laughs> don't even get me started. I have so many things wrong with me, I shouldn't technically be walking. <laughs> Right. Uh, now, about those uniforms... My I doctor will... also tells me a little intimacy wouldn't hurt, if you know what I mean, but <laughs> no such luck in that department. <laughs> right, gotcha. Nope. <laughs> Nothing going on behind my bedroom door. <laughs> I should hang up a sign that says, Gone Fishing. Gail, uh, about those uniforms... What about them? Uh, I just always pictured the marching band marching in full uniform. Get in line, Bill. The library needs a new computer, the cafeteria needs a salad bar, and the girls' wrestling team needs a good waxing. Um, are you being serious? I'm sorry, but it's gotten to the point where I can no longer defend your budget. We can't continue to fund this program as if there were a hundred of you. I'm sorry, Bill, but marching band is extinct. What? Obsolete. Yes, I, I mean, no, I mean, I think it still matters to these kids. Uh, Stuart in particular, wouldn't you say? Stuart's time would be better spent studying or practicing his Chinese. Now they are industrious people. I just meant it seems to really matter to your son. I don't know. Ever since his father left, it's just, well, I don't want to, him to get his heart wrapped up in another losing proposition. Is that how you see us? We're all struggling here, Bill. The economy's in the toilet and parents want to see their money put to sensible use. Do you even understand the kind of pressure I'm under? Anyway, the restructuring begins now. Restructuring? From now on, the practice field will use, be used exclusively by the football team. But that's our field! And the band will rehearse in the parking lot. The parking lot? But doesn't that present safety issues? Oh, they'll be fine. Just don't rehearse. While well, driver's ed's in session. some guy's arm back at Waterloo. Only for like a night. It's actually kind of hot. Okay, well our first game was in two weeks and I need my tambourine. Elliot's the captain. He should do something. Hey there, Elliot. How's our big captain man feeling today? Hey, good. I'm good. How are you? I'm concerned. Do you think 
think it's a problem that our drummer hasn't been with us for the past two weeks? Of course it. Don't worry, I'm working on it. It's just a little hard to come down. Be aggressive, Elliot. You can do it. Count it on me. She can't expect us to work under these conditions. If we're going to turn this band around, we can't do it in a parking lot. Starting tomorrow, we are going to rehearse in the evenings on our field. <laughs> that is crazy talk, Mr. Hornsby. Can we really do that? What about the football team? They'll never even know we were there. Night rehearsals, I like it. Yes, we'll have the field lights. This is a solution that works for everyone. I shall 
with some awesome tastic pink barrette. No, I'll never be a majorette. I'm plain. I'm basic. And I sweat when I get nervous. I suck at popularity. People just don't notice me someday. High school's got to end. And I'll finally find a place where this woodwind doesn't live. Oh, there's a whole world to be pursuing if I could just get out and leave this all here in the past. They'll remember me thinking, gosh, how is she doing? But expect us to work under these conditions. Do you know how much these electric bills are going to cost the school? You have now spent your entire travel budget for the season. I, what? Gail, don't punish these kids because of my misjudgment. No instrument trucks, no buses, no gas. I'm sorry, Mr. Hornsby, I've tried to work with you, but you've put me in an impossible position. Now send these kids home. Uh, but we weren't finished rehearsing. Ladies and gentlemen, you now need to go home to your parents. Joyce, Confiscate this field pass. My field pass, but... I'll get it from you later. And I'll... don't embarrass me in front of the board next Friday night. Stuart, let's go. Joyce, get him the camera. Never thought back when I was a kid in high school I'd grow up to be a teacher. Oh, hated teachers. See, I thought back when I was a kid in high school, I'd grow up to write a symphony, but I never wrote a symphony. I've got students picking noses, got a classroom with no chairs. The profession that I chose is just a mess, and no one cares. But if I had a stage, the crowds would flock to see me. Sixteen violins and four bassoons. And they'd play me a symphony that only I could write if I had a Step into the light. Mr. H, the world won't let her do that, will they? 
I don't know. Because I had the idea that we may be able to compete. So I made the call for the Festival of Champions. The Festival of Champions? Let's be realistic, Elliot. For now, we just need to focus on the game next Friday night against Waterloo. Whoa! Waterloo? 49. Bet those guys to be glad to see you. Are you kidding me? That's the first game of the season? It's on the schedule. What the hell? Jane, I can't even deal with this. Sister horns me about my Notre Dame recommendation. Uh, but first, you need to get back to rehearsal. Oh. Never thought back when I was a kid in college, I'd give up the oboe. God, I loved my oboe. See, I thought back when I was a kid in college, I would teach just for a little while. But it's been more than a little while. The ceiling has been leaking in the band room 20 years. And the clarinets keep squeaking while my passion disappears. But if I had a stage, the crowds would flock to see me. But no tuxedo, cufflinks on the sleeve. And when I'd spread my arms, the world would start to spin. If I had a stage, if I had a stage. From the years of heartache and regret, as long as I can hear the music, maybe there's still time to write my page somewhere on a stage. Some on a stage. suburban overachiever. That is so reductive. I drink Coke. Yeah, <laughs> and you're the only girl in Ohio with a macrame scarf and low self-esteem. Yeah, and what about you, Mr. 49? Football is my entire life. I don't even know who I am without my jersey. Look at you with your floral printed backpack. I 
bet you got a stack of sci-fi books in there. You get straight A's. You stage manage plays. You go to science camp and take your project to the state fair. One look at you and I see everything I need to know. Got your future all mapped out. Got it wrapped up in a bow. Doing everything your parents want you to. I get the picture. One look at you. What is wrong with doing what your parents want? <laughs> Guess it depends on the parents. Well, mine have sacrificed a lot so I can go to nursing school. Oh, perfect. Nurse Laura, you look great in those shoes, by the way. Look at you with your turn out sneakers. Doing push-ups by the bleachers all alone all week. You used to be high school royalty. But now you're stuck here with the losers and the freaks. Well, tough luck. One look at you and I can see it all. You think you're better than us because you know how to run and catch a ball. Got me figured out. You think you know what I'm about? You size me up from head to toe. Tell me something I don't Tell know. Tell me something I don't know. I bet you didn't know I used to take speech and debate. Oh yeah, I was a beauty pageant finalist back when I was eight. Check it out. I aced my history class. I got a C and AP bio. The only thing I dream about is getting out. like there's something stuck in your butt. Oh, and you know this from personal experience. Oh, you got jokes. One look, look at, at you, and I can, can see it all. Just another meathead job. Just a wallflower on the wall. Thank, Thank you so much for confirming what I, I always thought was true. I get the picture. 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 Titanic. This is a seaworthy vessel. Now, chin up, eyes with pride. If Mozart can compose a symphony in one week, we can get this band together in five days. Come on, guys, pride. I woke up with the cheeses, coach. Slay! 
Go back to your mama, you little dorks. That's not true. You're setting yourself up to be a fine drummer. I'm setting myself up to be a joke. Come on, it looks good on you. Oh, yeah. I can't wait to wear this in front of my old school. I'm sure they'll love that. It was nothing. Okay. If people are gonna talk, you know, I'm not just gonna stand there and listen. Forget it. Never he was mind. just another one of those geniuses on the team who thought he knew everything just because his parents had some money. It's hard to stick up for yourself sometimes, but that's. You think I don't know my dad's a loser? I, I'm sorry. And this thing is just so. It's so uncomfortable. How am I supposed to play in this? You'll get used to it. I don't want to get used to it. It keeps you in line with the rest of the band. That's a good thing. I can't do it. I can't wear this stupid. Shoulders back. You're gonna be all right if you just try. Knees bent. Breathe in, relax. Don't think about those jerk offs driving by. Play each note precisely and slow. Keep your feet in time as you go. I know you're gonna get it right. Music left to learn, are we gonna crash and burn on Friday night? Friday night, Friday, Friday night. Our parents will be watching, and the whole school will be too. This could be my big redemption, or our final Waterloo on Friday night. On Friday night. So now, as we crop to the right, you'll cross your legs and keep your drums in front. No, here your trailing leg should press against the thigh of your leading leg. There you go. I like this step. I think we should put a few more of these in the show. Friday night, Friday, Friday night. I I'm so sorry to bother you. I just had to, you know, be in the mall and I had these fresh flowers and... Uh... What are you doing here? Do I smell like chicken? Yeah. I bet that's why Clip broke up with me. Uh, no, it's highly appealing. I mean, you're highly appealing. I was wondering if I might drink some soft serve ice cream after the game Friday. What? I have to get back to work. Uh, Friday night? Sure. See you then. See, that's all it took. Wonder why I never asked her out. Easy, that's how I made it look. I wanna run across the room and shout. We're like Spidey and Mary Jane, Clark Kent and Lois Lane. today. Spirits high? Well, I have to say, I'm fighting to keep up the morale. Well, just keep them focused on the task. I finally got Principal Dixon to let me speak at the board meeting. You're kidding. Yes, yes. And it, it turns out some of them are former Buckeyes who have fond memories of being in the band. No way. Yes, and they'll be at the game Friday night. So make sure Fly to the Tuba is pitch perfect and tell your weatherman brother there better be clear skies. Only one that day.
Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just joining us for the second quarter, grab a seat and hunker down for a bloodbath as the Cuyahoga High Beavers face off against last year's champions, the Waterloo High School Falcons. And Beavers go long. 40-yard pass to Clay Walker. Oh! Interception, Falcons. Interception, Falcons. Different as well. Um, I got a new hairdo. I'm trying something new. Okay. Yeah, this uh, this baton. Yeah, it's a sort of a good luck charm. Uh, I have had it since Juilliard. Oh, I never knew you lived in New York. What else are you hiding from us? Joyce, oh. out, please. Yes, ma'am. Hey, has anyone seen my parents? <laughs> Remember, they gave the tickets to my family. Your brothers had to watch your brother's tornado set up special. <laughs> oh, they did mention that. Um, glad your family could use them though. Sophomore Robert Griffin fumbles at the 30-yard line. I feel like the whole school is watching me. It's going to be fine, Jake. I don't know if I can do this. You're so ready for tonight. Falcons with a heck of a pass to number 49, senior running back Gerald Whitehead. I'll be at top on. Hey, watch it. This trumpet belonged to my great uncle. You're playing with a 7C mouthpiece? Well, I've got a megatone. It's not size that makes a difference. Oh. Hey, Nicole, I'm super excited about later tonight. Oh, yeah, your song. That's great. It's like opening night for you. Falcons line up for the kickoff. Go! And the kickoff is long and deep. Number 49 breaks out at the 30 yard line. Is this kid dynamite or what? That's my old number. That should be me out there. Yeah, but just look at you now. Not everyone gets to wear a purple t-shirt with a giant beaver on it. You're not helping. Chase. Yeah? It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Falcons with a Hail Mary to number 49 and oh! Touchdown Falcons! Touchdown Falcons! I don't know what's gotten into Waterloo this year, but they are unstoppable! They used to be me on the field Running for an end zone catch I had the speed and skill no one could match On every play I'd be open wide, they'd pass it to me i dive in and once more save the day But they said I was no team player Cause I didn't stick to all their plans Too much of an extreme player I didn't follow their command Who cares if you're a team player When you've got magnets in your hand It's halftime, ladies and gents, and now would be a good time to visit the concession stand as... Oh. The Marching Beavers take the field. I showed off a lot, so what? I had to work twice as hard to prove to the recruiters I was good, that I was great. Everyone else on the team had money. I had to win the scholarship to stay. No, I couldn't be a team player. Or I couldn't be a college grad. I had to be the supreme player. It was the one chance that I had. No, I couldn't be a team player. Or I'd end up like my mom and dad, stuck inside this town, living on minimum wage, or running away to nowhere. The whole world is a cage when you can't afford your freedom. 
You pay the price every day. I had a chance to get out, but I threw it all away. Why'd I let them get to me? I threw it all away. Why'd I let them get to me? Why'd I let them get to me? to the percussion. And so I think we're going to need to base our routines around Jake from now on. Uh, what do you mean? I wrote the song. I sent for the application. Jake just got here and... I, I know. I was going to talk to you no, about this no, later. No, no, no. He's right. Besides, I don't even think I could do it again anyway. And sure you can. Clearly you have a fantastic tutor. You and Laura seem to make a good team. I, I really can't take credit for tonight. Ah, uh, don't be humble, Miss Kirk. This is going to be great for our band and for our school. Are you guys serious? Oh, yes. On the Astro Turf in Columbus, Ohio, with a hundred thousand seats to fill, the brass bands will arrive in numbers for a test of discipline and skill. Not exactly our two greatest virtues. Not yet, Kyle, but that's about to change. At the Festival of Champions, our feet stepping lightly, our chins held up high. At the Festival of Champions, we carefully rules and restrictions apply. At the Festival of Champions. Now I realize this is one of the top band competitions in the country. But the superintendent feels we will do well if we bring our band with this sound. You mean Jake's sound? 
As long as Laura keeps working with him. But we've never competed before. Maybe we should just disappear, like acid wash jeans. We're staying at the Columbus Ramada. With the free continental breakfast buffet. Thursday's optional skating and bowling. But Friday night we play. Elliot! And my dad will be proud. Pit of despair at the festival of champions. Jake, you are so amazing tonight. I have so many new ideas for you. Yeah. Why don't you come over to my place and we can discuss? Are we gonna go raid Kyle's Bridge and play Super Nintendo? Actually, is it cool with you if I take a rain shake? Oh, sure, yeah. Okay then, I think I'm just gonna go chill with Nicole. Thanks for the pep talk tonight, coach. Really got me through. Well, it 
certainly expressive. <laughs> a little too expressive? Well, uh, some non-traditional marching, marching might be just what we need to get noticed. Good job, Molly. I have a way to get us noticed, Mr. H. Jake, come here. I didn't know we were going to do this in front of everyone. Just relax. I'll do all the heavy lifting. Have you going on in that outfit and moving like that? I can make a few alterations. You can start with more fabric.
It's just a kid's song. We always sing it on the bus at the games. In Brasovia, we have similar song to protest fascism. And another game lost. But we won half time. You're so positive. I just admire that. Hey guys, I am my realist. Kyle, I love your shirt. Where'd you get it? I don't know. I think it was my brother's from like the 70s. Oh, yeah. That's really cool. It's just a shirt. Mm. Does anyone have any kings? <laughs> yeah, bitch! Are they still making out back there? All I can see is the steam on the window. You figured they'd come up for air by now. I'm secretly glad you didn't sell these cookies at the bake sale. How long have they been back there? Who? Princess Leia, Luke Skywalker. Who do you think? I don't know. The cult took them back there after we left Cedar Point. I just hope they're observing the no touch policy. <laughs>
know of Jake. Some are just like everyone else. Jake's the man, is he? Uh, yeah, he's a super cool guy. It's amazing how we turned this whole band around. What's up, ladies? My man, Jake! Thanks for the brow jam tape. I've been paying real close attention to the craftsmanship. You're almost ready to graduate to Bob Marley. I love reggae, man. I had an <laughs> awesome drum session with the cool studio drummer at the Club Med Turks and Caicos last summer. Really? Well, I'll send over that tape tomorrow. Dude, that's tight. Later, E. So, how are things with Nicole? I don't know. She's fine, I guess. Well, you two look good together. Man, did you see that t-shirt she made mom with our picture on it? No, but I'm sure would have loved it. What's with you, ma'am? Nothing. Nothing at all. Hello? Stuart? Dude, are you okay? I'm fine. You sure, ma'am? I'll be fine tomorrow. Don't worry about me. You can take off. <laughs> you need some help? No, no. Wait. Whoa. Dude, what happened to you? It's nothing. It'll dry. Hey, let me give you a towel or something. You have a little everywhere. Thanks. Just trying to wait till everyone's gone. Okay. <laughs> I don't want my mom to see. Why are you wet, dude? Football team thought it would be a good idea to introduce my head into the toilet bowl. Really? Well, I'll go have a talk with them. No, no, don't. I'm used to it. Is this what you took to the kids back at Waterloo? No. Well, maybe once or twice. Why would you do that? You know, in some species, the males prove their dominance by being protectors, not bullies. Stuart! Coming. I've been waiting in the... Oh, my God! Are you all right? I'm fine. You're soaked! Did he do this to you? No, no, I... I got caught in the sprinklers on the lawn. The lawn? And horns they let you sit like this all day? I didn't have anything to change into. All right, let's go. I'm gonna be late for the friggin' sensitivity summit. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 just, just keep that. <laughs> you know, whatever little bit of thing you think you've got left, it's only a swirly away from total annihilation. That's one of my favorite nocturnes. Mr. Hornsby, I'm sorry. There was nowhere else to go. It's quite all right. I'm just happy to see you practicing. <laughs> one of the few perks remaining in this job is getting to hear you play. Really? I thought I sounded terrible. My embouchure is so stiff. You just need to relax. It's Chopin. It should be loose. Clear it up. Right. Well, I'll get out of your way now. Hey, have you heard from Boston? Uh, the recommendation I wrote for you for the New England Conservatory. Oh, well, they called about an audition, but my parents are pretty set up me going to state. Plus, I really can't afford to fly out right now. But you and Boston seem like such a good match. Well, I'm not going to be studying flute. You're not. But I hear the nursing program at Ohio State is very strong. You don't sound very enthusiastic. No, it's great. Anyway, i got to get to Western Civ. See you at practice tonight. See you at practice. <laughs> Make sure you got the chance to score. Mr. Hornsby make request for me to help you. Uh, 
There must be some mistake. There is nothing I can learn from you. I'm going to talk to him right now. It's free country. I'm going. You might want to zip up fly first. I might. What's the crap of Bolivia anyway? Braslovia. It's not on any map I've ever seen. And what is America? Desperate people eating too many cheeseburgers. OK, well, I'm going to like cheeseburgers. Average people have average taste. Oh, average? I'll show you average. Go ahead. You seem to excel at it. Hey, Miss Big Shot, you think you are the best. Because back in Europe, your teachers were impressed. They may have taught you each and every scale. But they did not teach you how to wail. Miss Big Shot, you are so full of scorn. Miss Big Shot, but there's hot air in that horn. You try to blow, but all you do is suck your own No, it takes you who are something. All your uptight conservatory training is no match for my good old American slang. Oh yeah, let's go right now, mano a mano. You're on. Chef Swing Boyfriend. Well, Teddy, 
many years ago. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, Gail, but I can promise you my kids had nothing to do with it. I have a closet full of ruined sporting supplies that will cost the school thousands of dollars to replace, and some unmentionable words spray painted on an old scoreboard. I would trust my students in any room in this building. I believe you have a student who used to play for the Waterloo Falcons. Well, you know I do. What? Mr. Fowler, does this belong to you? That can belong to any one of the Falcons. It's yeah, probably just part of the rivalry. Bill, his name is printed on the inside. Number 49. I've never even been to the field house. We are all too familiar with your history. Jake, is this true? What do you think? Oh, great. Well, thanks for having so much faith in me, by the way. Jake, I'm sorry. I have no choice but to report this to the authorities. Wait! Jake's been with me practically every afternoon for the past three weeks. All right. Would you like for me to put your name on the file, too, Miss Murray? Nicole. What? This goes on your record? Oh. If another day found out? Right. Miss Murray. I'm sorry, Jane. <laughs> yeah, me too. All right, young man. They're waiting for you in the vice principal's office. Sorry, dude. I'll drop off the Marlin music at your house. Doesn't he get someone to represent him here? No, no. Don't worry about it. Actually, this is good news. I was looking for a way to ditch these losers. Oh, Stuart! You look sick. Are you all right? He's, he had a little asthma incident. He's fine. I'm fine. He's fine now. All right. Well, Bill, you'll need to give a statement, too. Stuart, tell the nurse to take a look at you. Stuart, enjoy. <laughs> Like, no. 
was never one of us, and he'll never be one of us. Well, I wonder what that must feel like. I've got to go find him.
morning just because you're going to take them off at night? Was there supposed to be some great wisdom in that? In Brostovia, we don't expect things to be perfect. You wake up in the morning, pipes are frozen, power is up, and your yak both give milk. But still, you go to school, make music, and everything seems just a little better. <laughs>
lots of loss could be Ohio's game. I just never pictured myself so close to home. Well, you'd be the cutest foodist at Ohio State. Elliot, it's flawless. <laughs> what kind of soap do you use? <laughs> Whatever my mom picks up at the price chopper. <laughs> it smells amazing. Laura, is it okay if I leave? Sure. Invitational Festival of Champions, hosted by The Ohio State University. Please give a warm welcome to our lead band, The Shaker Heights Tiger Pride, and their patriotic medley, American Can. Please welcome to the field, the Dayton Devils, with their provocative rendition of Like a Virgin. <laughs> Elliot, did everyone get the changes for the opening number? We're all on top of it, Mr. H. Yes, Laura, now I need you to keep the tempo moving. Got it. I know you do. And Laura, we're real glad to have you back. I'm glad to be back. And Mr. Horsley, thank you. Sounds of the Indian Town Noble 
Bowles playing their interpretation of Andrew Lloyd Webber's Don't Cry For Me, Ashton Beulah. Ladies and gentlemen, under the leadership of Captain Laura Jane Kirk, performing an original piece written by Elliot Goodman in collaboration with director William Hornsby, entitled Flight of the Tuba. Please welcome the pride of Cuyahoga Falls, the Marching Beavers! <laughs> 